Not to be fair, Ray. Peace, King. Knowledge, understanding, noble guidance. Peace, peace, peace. Look at I pop up on y'all like I usually do. Stardust, peace, queen. Qualities uniting essential earth nurturing. Peace. Most precious ones, peace queen, qualities uniting essential earth nurturing. Just taking a stroll through the hood, admiring nature in the hood. We definitely got to do that sometime. I hear the copters, copters in back of me. Finny Momo, peace, peace, King. Knowledge, understanding, noble guidance, peace, King. Taking advantage of this day, just did a little servicing, dropped off a couple of products. I'm pretty much calling it a day. So I wanted to uh, explore my own neighborhood and look for the jewels inside the dirt. It's funny because the more you study things, you actually will find more variety of herbs in the city than you will actually find in the forest, and that's a fact. Peace, y'all. Peace, family. We out here. We on the south side. We in Jamaica. It's a quiet day. I guess everybody's happy to get back to work, get back to the slave plantation, get back to more rules, more regulations more European ideologies to follow, more fear to exchange between each other. I must say every day I grow grateful and thankful to be utilizing my own mind, utilizing my own time, and realizing the illusion that we call time is something that we can actually create and something we can actually slow down, which I do every day. We out here. We out here. Talk to me, y'all. Melon and Rose, one of the most precious ones. Peace, queen, qualities, and 19th century earth nurturing. The city used to be a forest. Well, everything used to be a forest, technically. Matter of fact, everything is a forest. Because even when you look at the cracks in the concrete, you got all different types of plants and herbs coming out of the crack. And I'm talking an entire bush, an entire tree coming out of one little crack. Ever since I started really utilizing the God eye into an extreme aspect. I've been seeing so much left and right, you know? But um, always thankful and grateful. Always thankful and grateful. spots is to get the best stage that we can utilize and transform. We don't understand our frequency and our energy magnetizes the things we need. And we call it a coincidence, but there's no coincidence. So it's no coincidence that I'll go somewhere and I'll find something that other people can't find. I like to take advantage of all opportunities I get to see what's going on, what's going in, what's going out. But anyway, nature swallowing civilization. Well, once again, I don't even like to even think about it as nature coming back or nature doing this and doing that because 
once again, nature has never left. As long as we're on the earth, we, we engulfed in nature since day one. Just because you want to cover it up with some cement or you want to put some concrete over it don't mean it's not there anymore. It's always there. It's never not there. It's the same way that you never was not was. There was no time where man was not. in the hood. <laughs> and the hood is where the hybrid breeds. But anyway, nature's all around you 24-7. There was never a time when nature was not, just like there was never a time man was not. And to be honest with you, on a deeper level, nature is nothing but consciousness. That's all it is. That's all it is. We're thinking about it on a surface level where we equate nature to plants, and we create nature to, to organisms, but nature is nothing but consciousness. And then everything else comes after. So yeah, y'all. Talk to me. So therefore, you can never escape nature. You can never run from nature. You might be able to cover it up temporarily. You might be able to pretend it's not there. You might be able to infect nature. You might be able to pollute nature. But as long as there's a planet, there's always nature. And as long as there's consciousness, there's always nature. I love the randomness of life, y'all. Walking through the hood, having y'all with me, pointing out, pointing out the beauties and the offerings and the gifts of nature right under our noses where we think there's nothing but dirt. We think there's nothing but just poverty all around us. But in actuality, we're always a rich people. We're always a rich people. The problem is we're not using our minds to tap into those riches that exist within us and that exist around us in abundance at all times. As soon as you start believing there's scarcity, as soon as you start believing there's some disease coming after you, as soon as you start believing some food is going to kick your ass with a non-GMO whatever the fuck type bullshit, that's when that shit becomes your reality. And guess what? Now a little ass peanut will kill your ass. A little ass piece of leaf will kill your ass. Y'all see me on the street take a whole damn plant and start chewing on that shit with no fear. No worries if it's poisonous. No worries if it's going to do this or that to me. You know why? Because I already know what my body is made of. And I already know that my body is an advanced divine instrument. You know how much it takes to destroy me? You know how much it takes to destroy me? Come on now. You spoke of the all in one of your previous videos and everything being an extension of the consciousness of the all if I'm not mistaken, how does the recessive connect to the all? The recessive is abstract. I did explain this already. Remember, you have your subconscious and you have your conscious. You have your main conscious thoughts and then you have your subconscious thoughts. Remember, I explained this before. It's like every human has a negative thought. Like there's times where we're sitting and we're talking in front of people and this person never did nothing bad to us, but you know, we're, uh, we're standing in front of somebody, we're having a conversation, and we just look at them and we go, what if I just punch this motherfucker in the face right now for no reason? That's an that's a abstract thought. That abstract thought is not nothing, because everything has cause and effect. So what happens is that abstract thought that has no true intentions behind it, but that's still a thought, and if thoughts are still things, then that thought becomes a thing in an abstract dimension. So that small amount of consciousness that you call a, a miscellaneous thought gets transformed into an abstract energy. That energy, depending on the environment or the realm or the density that it resides in, can actually grow into another form of energy. And now we have the recessive or we have the reptoid uh, humanoid who grafted the recessive, but I don't like going into all of that because I like concrete evidence. And even though that is a knowingness for me, I can prove and show with concrete evidence that the, that the carcassoid is grafted. But I can't prove and show with concrete evidence that the so-called Palladians or the so-called reptilians and all of this bullshit grafted them. So that's why you never see mine ascension go into all of that conspiracy shit. I'm not saying it's not real. I'm saying I know that shit is real, but I'm saying
y'all will never see me try to teach something or show y'all something that I can't back up with concrete evidence. So, to answer your question, yes, there is nothing outside of the all. But just like you have plastic today, what's plastic? Show me a plastic tree. Where's a plastic tree? Plastic don't come from nature. Plastic is an abstract creation. So yes, plastic is in this creation, but it's not of this creation. That's the difference. Peace, so peace, peace, dog. <laughs> so that's what the white man is. He is not of this creation. He's only in this creation because he's an abstract thought that gets transformed into another level of density. That's why, the, that's why it took so long for him to come into existence. While you were walking this earth for millions to billions of years, it took him that same amount of time to finally pop up 6,000 years ago because that him as an abstract thought had to be densified into a realistic aspect that it could exist on a third dimensional realm because he had to come from the first to the second until he finally came into a three dimensional form. You fell from the top down. He rose from the bottom up, and now he's trying to keep you in that one level so you don't separate from him. Are y'all getting it? Did I explain that okay? Did mine ascension break it down enough for you? Let me know, y'all, because you know I could go way deeper and I could take it to a whole nother level if you want me to. I ain't got no problem with that. I ain't got no problem with that. Anybody that can't explain themselves, and to the most simplest minute form, they don't know what the fuck they talking about. Excuse me, y'all. I'm out here walking in traffic and all of this, so I want to make sure y'all can hear me. I don't want to keep screaming at y'all, so I'm probably going to uh, cross this street, get on the residential side. You know, I don't want to be yelling at y'all. Yeah, right? That was simple, right, y'all? It didn't take me, it didn't take me five classes. It didn't take me an eight hour lecture. It's simple. All existence is simple. Anything that's divine is simple. If you talking this prophet shit, if you talking divinity, if you talking God, and then you make something complex, you a fucking human. You ain't no God. So anybody telling you, you know, I'm the prophet, I'm the, I'm the, I'm the light, I'm Lucifer, the light bringer, and then you ask them to break down something, and they say, well, you're not ready for that, my son. You have to blah de blah de blah de blah Get the fuck away from that nigga, because he don't know what the hell he's talking about. His ass lost more than anybody else. Can you go into how Dr. Yom Malachi was demonized? Oh, well, that was simple. Now, before I even talk about um, Dr. York, Baba York, Malachi, uh, Melchizedek, uh, uh, Yanun, one of my teachers. I was never in my life a Nuwapian, never desired to be a Nuwapian, but one thing I've always done since the day I was born is recognize truth. I will always recognize truth. I don't care if it come from a white man, I don't care if it's the devil with baby's blood all over his body, with a fucking baby foot in his mouth like a chicken leg. I don't give a fuck. If you speak in truth, I embrace that truth. So when we talking about Dr. York, we talking about a man who took things to such a level that literally no one in this recent history on this so-called land we call a corporation or we falsely call a country has ever done before. This man has literally built a second Kemet on this soil, and I'm not talking about renting a building and then putting a, putting a moss sign in front of it. I'm not talking about um, buying a house and then calling it a temple. I'm talking about building pyramids from the ground up in, jo in the state of Georgia. I'm talking about building monuments and obelisks from the ground up. I'm talking about teaching an entire empire around the world a completely separate language that white people couldn't speak nowhere on the earth. Now, no matter where he got it from, no matter who taught him, no matter what the background is, it's all irrelevant. Because ain't nobody ever did that shit. And then, of course, what's the worst thing you could do to any man on this planet? What's the worst act in existence that any human being will demonize you for? Molestation. I could kill a man. 
But once you find out why I killed him, it's not that bad. You see? I could rape a woman. But once you find out who the woman was and find out if she was lying or not, or find out if she literally got intoxicated and all this different shit that women do today, you know, it's not that bad. But when you hear I did something to a little baby child, ain't no coming back from that. And that's what they did to that man. No matter how many of them kids recanted their statement, no matter how many witnesses recanted statements and went against and supported, it didn't matter. And by the way, since we're speaking on it, this is another proof how that sovereign bullshit don't fucking work because you're dealing with soulless devils who don't respect nothing. That man is by law, paperwork, he is of Moorish descent. Okay? We are talking about the Black Eagle. We're talking about indigenous people of this land. And he still went to court and he's still locked under because you know what they did? They looked for the loopholes, the loopholes in their own laws. So all he's doing is being rearranged over and over and over for decades. And they can do that. And basically, he's not even arrested. He's just detained for like 15 years. They're just detaining him forever. <laughs> it's like somebody who's on trial for death row. They can hold you to wait to die for 20 years. But your sentence is death. Your sentence is not 20 years, but they'll hold you for 20 years before they decide to kill you. So, once again, it was Dr. York who truly let me know how much of all of this Moorish talk, and don't get it twisted, I will still utilize that as a tool on a very tiny scale if I have to, but I know it's bullshit because it's all based on us hoping white people is going to respect shit. Hoping white people are going to have more owls or more alls, and they don't. Because when a large number of you start claiming that shit, they shut that shit down. When, when one powerful man claims that shit, they shut that shit down, and then they don't respect it. So don't tell me shit about sovereignty. Don't tell me shit about no goddamn Moorish laws and all this shit. Because when you're dealing with a recessive grafted Soulless, uh, soulless graftation, you're not dealing with integrity. And if you're trying to create statutes and rules outside of universal laws, you need integrity and you need agreements based on that integrity. So if there's no integrity, we can never have an agreement. That's what agreement is based on, your morals and your integrity. So how the fuck am I making agreements with a fucking man who don't even got no soul? And I think because he puts his name on a piece of paper, that's going to save me in the future? Nah, it'll work in small numbers, but once you are a powerful man and you try to pull that card, they'll make that card non-existent. Now, if you just some little rinky-dink nigga and you walk in with a bucket on your head, they might let you go because they don't want you to influence the others. I remember when they got locked up, you know they separated my ass. Excuse me, when I got locked up, my, the most recent time I got locked up, they separated me because when I got in there and I started talking my shit, all the motherfuckers got around me, started listening. They said, oh, listen, get your ass in this cell. <laughs> Sit over here. Just shut up. Be quiet. Peace, peace. Uh, peace, everybody. Peace, everybody. I'm over here attempting to catch up to y'all. But yeah. See what you're talking about. Um, some time that can be added to a lecture, be the evidence supporting the simple facts of truth. Can you go into how your demon I rise in family you have rape, destroy his reputation? Facts, uh, sovereignty ain't physical, it's in the spirit. How can you free yourself with their laws? Facts, you're not dealing with true character, they are not animated. Yeah, y'all. So, anyway. It was very simple. First, they tried to say it was a tax evasion aspect. Then when that didn't work, they tried to say it was guns and then they didn't find out one gun. They didn't find out one gun on that uh, compound, so-called compound in Georgia. Then when that didn't work, they said, okay, he's trafficking children because technically <coughs> so many New Wapian families came across all over America just to live in Georgia at the so-called um, 
uh, Tymeri, land of Tymeri, that's what it's called. And so basically the law took that and said he trafficked young children like a sex trafficker. So they put a federal law on top of him, and then they put a child molestation law on top of him, and then they buried him under a jail. That's all. That's all they did. It's pretty, it's pretty simple. It's pretty simple. All this stuff is really not hard to do. Talk to me, family. Let's keep going. I'm enjoying y'all energy today. Look like noon when to fall. Yeah, we out here, y'all. Shout out to the south side, you heard? Shout out to Rochdale. Shout out to the north side, Cambria. Shout out to Murdoch. Bubbled up, we bubbled up. Yes, yes. Three candles. All the way in the back last time. Everybody all bubbled up and shit. Get out of here. Y'all trying to make me look good. We all bubbled up. Oh, yes, 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 Man, y'all ain't clean y'all litter box, man. Y'all gotta clean that litter box. Woo! I gotta clean that litter box, man. Yeah, man. You, you got the cats going crazy in there, man. You gotta clean that litter box, man. Yeah, man. It's crazy back there. It's this shit crazy. Appreciate you, brother. Right. Get that little box clean, man. Right. Pardon me, y'all. Pardon me. Let me just secure my stuff here. Gotta have my candles. Gotta have my candles. I'm getting sick of buying these motherfuckers too. Man, the fucked up thing about candles is the more you put your intentions in the motherfuckers, the faster they burn. This is, you know, if I be like, God damn, I don't know if I want to put my intentions or not, this is gonna burn the hell out. But yeah, y'all. Yes, yes. Yeah, we gotta understand the differences in things, you know? We gotta understand energy. We gotta understand everything. 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 Yes, I was talking about you the other day, feminine. I don't think you were on my live at the time. But uh, I can damn sure use some candles as a love offering. Because I'm getting sick of buying these damn candles. But that's like the only thing I need is candles. I go without everything else. <laughs> I go without food. I go without water. But I need my candles. <laughs> oh, talk to me, y'all. Talk to me, fam. What's the best thing you can do when you feel like it's hard adjusting to the shift? It's like the ego getting heavier. And then doing blood cells, feeling powerful. Well, the first thing to do 
to tame your ego is to do stupid shit. If you want me to really give you the fastest way, embarrass yourself. Embarrass yourself. Because we're not talking about the shift. We're talking about you personally fighting your own ego. That's what we're talking about. The shift ain't got shit to do with your ego. The shift is the shift. The shift happens whether you exist or not. So the shift ain't got nothing to do with your ego. Your ego is your own personal battle. Your ego is your own personal self having a problem with what someone will say or a family member not agreeing or losing your best friend or um, what you look like. Um, you know, whether you're wearing a nice shirt or whether you smell good today or any of that stuff. How much you put a bag of orange? Orange. How much for the bag? Six dollars for the bag? Two dollars for this bag? And then six dollars for this bag. Alright. How much for one pineapple? Now, as usual, now, the so-called Hispanic is our brother and sister. Yes, they are. I just find it interesting how they go out of their way to make sure that, uh, you got candles? Yeah, candles. Oh. Oh, yeah, I see. Okay, I got you. I got you. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Just let's see if they're the right price, though. Yup, they the right price. Good, good, good. Good, good, good. All right. What you cooking over there, mama? Oh. Uh, you look like you working hard. I feel bad. Can I pay for this? Candles. Nah, you, you walking around, you doing stuff. Give me a second, y'all. Give me a second. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, thank you, man. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Oh, always do that. I'm always moving around fast. Put my sword down. Then I got to loop back. It's really y'all fault because I'm not supposed to have something in my hand. Anyway, um, where were we? Where were we, family? Uh, I got you masculinity. What's the best thing to do when you feel like most powerful herb for men? Indeed, do. Brother, yes, indeed. What happened, what happened to me recently in my mind? In my... Pardon me, brother. Um, feeling more humble because of the stupid 
shit. During a thunderstorm, went out, played in the puddles, screamed my affirmation. Excellent. Crazy seeing this reflection. Not trying to make so much sense about how the world taught us to be, but birthing balance, awareness of myself as a whole. Excellent. Sounds fun. Anyone notice all the spiders and worms that, that come out when it rains? Oh, y'all done turned this into a chat room. <laughs> Literally become just eco who said anything wrong with the ego. Notice that rose, so many different species. You were talking about the Hispanic. Oh, yes, yes, that's what I, Thank you for bringing me back into the chat room. But, uh... Yeah, I was just talking about the fact how we know they are brothers and sisters, but they will literally go out their way to uh, take advantage and sell products in our community, take advantage of us, so on and so forth. invest in art y'all very important especially black art invest in black artists some of y'all are artists i would love to invest in y'all art our time and move through the earth looking at everything utilizing observation not letting anything pass us being meticulous with the eye utilizing the God eye we see so many things that we never seen before that's all around us but while you moving 60 50 miles an hour through the streets while your ears is filled with nonsense and noise and decibels that's building toxins in your body you never even notice the beauty that surrounds you. You actually leave your own neighborhood to go find beauty. You leave your own self to go find peace. And you start war with yourself at home. It's a goddamn shame. Who has art here on the live? Black Lotus, Black Lotus is one of the artists, true creatress. Y'all better big yourselves up. Black Lotus, she is a phenomenal artist. I know true creatress, she's a phenomenal artist. You know, I've shouted them out on my page. Y'all should have been followed them. I know, I know some of y'all are still new. I know I keep getting new pop-ups here and there. But uh, yes, once again, true creatress. Check her page out, her art out. I know she has a separate art page, Black Lotus. Um, Sabali, Sabali Aset. That's another black woman who's a beautiful artist. Check her page out, Sabali Aset. S-A-B-A-L-I-A-U-S-E-T. Sabali Aset. Black Lotus, true creatress. I ain't gonna lie, I'm trying to take my, I really want to get my black ass in the house because um, I got a few things I want to do before the sun go down, but I really want to come into this, into this baseball field and really discover what, what nature has and gifts for us over there, but I ain't got no time to do all of that because I got to get to the kingdom. I got to do a little bit of spiritual work before the sun go down. So if I had a little bit more time, I would have been running all through them damn bushes looking like a psycho in the hood, which is my favorite pastime. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Talk to me, y'all. Talk to me. Come on. 
tell you one thing. If your mind ain't right, the city is so toxic, man. Woo, the city will destroy you. And I ain't talking about violence. <laughs> I ain't talking about that. I'm talking about the way these dumb motherfuckers is rushing to one red light to the next red light and want to blast their horn because another car is stopping for a red light. I'm talking about the fumes that surround you. The fumes. I'm talking about all the different smells on the streets, all the cigarettes, crack smoke. And you know when you're smelling crack because it smells like burnt rubber. And if they ain't y'all from the hood, y'all should know that. You ever smelled that weird smell while you was walking down the street? That was crack. Because remember, crackheads were smoking a car just like a weed had smoked in a car. Just wanted to dip into this parking lot real quick, see if I saw my favorite poke weed. Feel like cooking some poke weed tonight. Of course, I wouldn't get the poke weed from the parking lot, though. Already absorbed all that nonsense. When you're going to forage for plants, you definitely want to pick plants furthest away from humans. Go deep into a park, even even going deep into a backfield, even if it's in the hood, it don't matter. You just don't want it to have human contact because they do absorb everything just like water. Absolutely, it is, it is. I love it though, but it is, it's the truth. I will never deny the truth. I love my city, but I will never deny the truth. Everybody in a rush to go nowhere. You know what I'm saying? And that's why they can't see no thing. Because they're in a rush to go nowhere. And life passed them by in a blur. And they have to pay for their happiness. They have to pay for their entertainment. That's what you call real poverty. It ain't about not being able to eat. It's about when you got to pay for somebody to make you feel good. It's about when you got to pay for somebody to bring worthiness to your life. That's poverty. That's poppy. Ooh, God. Ooh, been so many stinky ass smells today. Ah. Ooh, I can't take it. That's why, that's why I be needing a rush to the kingdom, y'all. Ain't even about no damn fake ass virus. It's about, it's about the combination of humans and fumes and toxic bodies and toxic machines. God damn. Existing in the habitat and not experiencing their surroundings. That's true. I've been walking almost wherever I can, and it's so interesting to see in areas where I've passed but never took notice. I know people always rushing, don't look up or down, miss so much. Absolutely. Absolutely. Ah, but I'm always thankful and grateful, y'all. Because I'm always finding a reason to be thankful and grateful. And I'm thankful and grateful for that. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's another thing I need, y'all. Incense. But I'm, I'm very, I'm very uh, careful with my incense. I never overburn incense. And I never use too much incense. So, I don't have to keep, keep buying a lot of incense. I buy my incense in bulk. And I like one stick at a time. Two sticks maximum. Yeah, but I need my incense too. I just never run out of incense, so y'all don't hear me complain too much about it. My candles and my incense, that's definitely a necessity. That's definitely a lifestyle. Talk to me, family. Talk to me, family. Take advantage of this time on here. Yeah, man, it's so much garbage, man. The other day when I was in uh, all these different parts of New York, Sheep's Head Bay, all these different places, I noticed the difference in quality and how clean. I mean, even the brick and the wall and the walls of buildings was clean. And as I'm walking around in my own neighborhood, the smells are terrible, garbage all over the sidewalks, garbage all over the grass areas, everybody in a rush to run you over, toxic fumes everywhere, but anyway, cancel, 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 cancel. back to divinity, y'all. I felt my energy going down. Matter of fact, 
Okay, we, we passing a black bank. Let's let's focus on that. All right, yeah, black bank, black bank. That feels better now. I feel better. Black power. Black power. All right, I feel better now, guys. Use what too much? What are we talking about? What happens when you use what too much? Specify, specify. I can't give clarity without specificity. Well, at least I'm good on my candles. Got my candle game right right now, so that's good. my keep my realms lit get to my kingdom get deep in my realm that always feels good okay you said what happens when you burn too much what's a power meditation breathing technique or a generator to rise the vibration all of that you just named does that so basically let's put it like this anytime you're looking for something to be more powerful all you do is combine things that you already know are powerful. So if you notice, you just said, what's a power meditation breathing technique generator vibration? Well, number one is meditation, and then number two is breathing. So you combine the meditation and you combine the breathing. You want to make it more powerful? Add a sigil to it. You want to make it more powerful? Surround yourself with candles. You want to make it more powerful? Surround yourself with mirrors. You want to make it more powerful? Invest in a gong. Invest in bells or invest in chimes. And as you're doing these things, utilize those tools and those instruments simultaneously, creating tones around you, while utilizing flames around you, while utilizing mirrors around you, okay? And preferably, you wanna take it up another notch, you can sit in the middle of a sigil. Basically, you can take chalk, the same way you do when you watch TV and they show you the little witches on TV, Take a piece of chalk, colorful chalk preferably, all different colors, and study the colors and the meaning of those colors as well to utilize them better, and draw specific sigils on the ground or on your carpet or whatever, because chalk, you could always rub it off, and then get in the middle of those sigils and magnify those intentions and that focus in the middle of those symbols, and you will magnetize that power. So anytime you want to... Look for a way to do something better or to make something more powerful. All you do is add things to it to concentrate it. That's all we're talking about. When we talk about power, we either talk about dilution or concentration. It's very simple. There's only two ways to go with power. Either you're going to dilute your bloodline by laying with six ethers, or you're going to concentrate your bloodline. Is this my folk weed? That's my folk weed. I love folk weed. Pokeweed. I don't pick no pokeweed unless it's a lot of it, though. But anyway, yes, um, what the hell was I just saying? There's only concentration and dilution. Yes. That's all there is. Concentrate, excuse me. There's only concentration, dilution, and transformation. That's all energy does. You're either diluting yourself by using synthetic shit, by using fake shit, let me give you an example of diluting your power. Instead of getting real candles with real fire, you go get those little lamp candles that you stick in the wall and the little bulb looks like a flame. Now you're diluting the power. Y'all understand what I'm saying? Diluting the power is laying with a, a Neanderthal six ether. Now you're diluting your bloodline. You wanna concentrate your bloodline? Lay with your cousin. <laughs> oh yeah, I said it. <laughs> Oh, I'm a weirdo. <laughs> oh, my ascension's pushing incest. <laughs> but I'm speaking like a scientist. And if you want to concentrate your bloodline, if you want to make your genetics more powerful, lay with your own blood. That, that don't make sense? But wait a second. Who taught you that that causes deformities? 
You mean the people that are not of your blood and that are the opposite of your genetic? So anything they do is the opposite result of what is the result of yourself? But let me leave that topic alone, shall I? Let's continue, y'all. <laughs> you know, let, let, let me stop. I don't, don't, don't want to scare y'all. I don't want to scare y'all. Y'all already think I'm crazy, so I don't want to scare y'all. See my brother in here. It's a little, uh, I always try to keep my uh, relationship with anybody. So if I know I'm close anywhere, I always try to see if the, there's somebody I knew before. Just to say what's up to them, bring up their spirit, you know what I mean? That's something we got to stop doing. Stop only acknowledging people when you want shit. Stop doing that. Try your best to acknowledge people when you don't mean nothing. You know what's the best feeling? When you come out your way to see somebody and they ask you, what you need, man? You need something? And you go, no, I don't need shit. And then they give you that look like, holy shit. You really came just to see me? Y'all ever, y'all ever experienced that? When you came out of your way to go see somebody or to go check up on somebody, and immediately they thought that you came to ask them for something, and when you genuinely did not mean nothing, they were kind of blown away, and they almost felt like they, like they wanted to cry. I'm telling you, y'all, stop being a parasite. That's why my tolerance for these trolls on my page is going to zero. I'm be starting to race all type of motherfuckers. The dimension we moving in, there's no room for parasites. You're either a positive or negative in exchange. You're a polarity or reflection. One or the other. You could be a negative, but just realize you gotta have a positive. You could be a positive, just realize a positive attracts a negative. You can be a reflection, just realize as a reflection you're judging yourself. So understand these terms to understand existence. But once you start breeding parasites, once you start breeding, bringing parasites to your dimension, giving birth to a new white man. I could do so much right now, but I really want to take my black ass in the house. So I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna tempt myself, you know? I'm not even gonna tempt myself. That's why I wanted y'all to distract me, really. Cause I got some things I gotta do. And I ain't trying to do them at night, cause at night I turn into a beast. You know, when that, when that moon comes out, the human beast comes out. So I like to get all my divine shit done while the sun is up. That don't mean you can't be divine at night, but I always leave room for my lower self. That's what y'all are forgetting. I always leave room for my lower self. That's why I never have problems. What you call problems is actually the escape of your lower self without your awareness. That's what you keep calling a problem. I got a problem. What do you mean you got a problem? You mean the bitch you kept locked up inside yourself has finally escaped without your permission and now it's caused a problem? But if you would have left her ass out at least once a month, you'd be fine. But no, you want to be namaste. You want to judge your reflection for being a hoe. You want to be strong and independent forever. Oh shit, I ain't even gonna share with y'all. Oh shit, I gotta come back to this motherfucker. Oh shit, god damn. Woo, I love this life. M. Rojas. Mi amor. I'm sorry, I'm stupid. My Latina princess, Emroja. I love you. You've been around for a long time. I appreciate you. Always supported me. Always followed me. Was never scared to show love. So I love her for that. Emrojas, definitely my family. That's the thing. What the fuck is this Pasmo nigga ever talking about? 
I'm so sorry, y'all. Not even to go there. I'm going to shut this down in a minute because that's not part of our realm. But I'm in the hood now. And I hear this pop smoke nigga everywhere. And it sound like the same fucking song playing all the damn time. It sound like the same damn song. Better go get your gun. Like, I know I'm old. I know I'm an old man now. Because I all of this shit is so goddamn retarded to me, man. And all these little niggas are dying back to back at 19 years old and shit. Welcome to the party. Welcome to the party. Oh, Lord. The fuck happened to lyrics? Part of my rant. Anyway, back to y'all. Can you save this live? Every, every time I try to save lives, I don't understand. They kind of get erased. But I will um, keep it in mind to attempt to do so. I always, I always really save my lives, but I guess because I don't put them up fast enough, they get deleted off my own phone. I don't really understand how that works, though, because I, I see myself saving a live, and then it'll just disappear if I don't, if I don't hurry up and post it to YouTube. But yes, I will attempt to save this live. Y'all know I need, y'all know I need exchange. It's so, it's a challenge for me to do videos and there's nobody to talk to. I'm not a ranter. I don't go on, I'm, you know, I'm not a woman. No disrespect to any men, but any man that can just get on the camera and start just expressing and overflowing his judgments and his beliefs and, and what he thinks of this or that, that's a highly feminine trait. It's very difficult for me to do that. That's why when I do do it, I have to tap into an emotional state in order to do it correctly. But most of the time, I'm not in an emotional state, so I just don't make a video. I'd rather go live and allow y'all to stimulate me to begin a lecture. But I can't just sit in front of a camera and start ranting because I'm not right brain. But anyway, yes, yes, yes. New hip hop is channeling a different energy. New hip hop, you can't call it a new whatever the hell. It ain't hip hop in the first place. That's a whole nother genre. It's a whole nother era that don't exist no more. Shit, there, there was morals in, in hip hop. Shit, there was rules in hip hop. I don't know what the fuck this dumb shit is. Down syndrome music. Matter of fact, you can't even be a rapper without a drug problem. You gotta have a drug problem first. Then maybe a little bit of a gender problem. Then you can be a rapper. Oh yeah, well they weren't lying. They were not lying. But talk to me family, talk to me family. Yes, there was. Yes, there was lyrics in hip hop. I don't know what shit is now, but I remember lyrics. Long, long, long ago, I remember them. I'm putting a void inside the music, opening up the portal of true sounds and vibrations. Through timelines, me and my boy trying to push the sound with real cryptic high dimensional lyrics literally for the ones who are trying to wake up all right all right fulfill your purpose brother tones are universal and primordial utilize them ain't nothing wrong with that sounds good to me brother if it synchronizes you know share it i'll do my best to share it as well heard some of my Ascended Brothers music for the first time today. It was so good. It has actually words, too. All right, that's great. That's awesome. That's beautiful. Let's keep exchanging. I tell you, y'all, I will never follow this bullshit. I don't give a fuck. Call it what you want. 
call it what you want. I ain't following this bullshit. <laughs> you want me to breathe in carbon dioxide all fucking day long because some goddamn recessive told me to. That ain't gonna happen. So sorry. So sorry. So sorry, daddy. If your, ass, if your ass can't make decisions based on your intelligence, how can you understand and know the truth about something and then project and live a behavior against that truth? That's something I can't do. That's something I can't do. I can't really know something and truly understand the science of something and then portray or live a behavior against what I know. I can't do that. I can't understand the reversal destruction of homosexuality and then become a homosexual. I can't do that. I can't do that. I can't understand the mechanism and function of the human body and then do things that I know is going to destroy it in the long run. I can't do that. I can't do that. I can't do that for money. I can't do that. So, hey. If I gotta starve a little bit, fuck it. I'll starve. Whew. I gotta get home. <laughs> Woo. Yep, 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 yep. Still thankful and grateful though. Still thankful and grateful. Forever and always, always and forever. That's right. I'll be hearing my music soon. There's no topic. You're the topic. TLXB, you the topic. Bring it up, spark it up, light it up. Let's go. You should already know if you're familiar with my intercession, there's no direct order. We want to call it randomness, but we already know there is no randomness either. We just want to come from the subconscious. What did you think about Dick Gregory? Uh, I like Dick Gregory. Um, he kind of reminds me a little bit of Laila Africa with how mad he gets at your ass because you don't know the shit that he knows. I got to check myself sometimes for doing that too, which by the way, leads to ailments in your body. I don't care how woke you are. I don't care how alkaline you are. I don't care how masterful you are at diet and vegetation and veganism. If something's always pissing you off, if you're always in an attitude state, your body's deteriorating. And to be honest with you, Dr. Laila Africa, who's my personal teacher, I love that man to death. Damn near ready to deify him, but guess what? My own intelligence, my own intelligence will not allow me to pretend, and my ego will not, uh, excuse me, my intelligence will not allow my ego to make me think everything he said was right, or to make me think that him dying at the age he died at had nothing to do with his personal vibration and how he responded to people's ignorance and how he absorbed the knowledge he obtained himself. Because sometimes, if our mental state is not at a higher state above humanity, while we're absorbing human knowledge, it will affect our human bodies. All right, y'all, I'm running out of time. Ain't that perfect? I was about to get into some. I love y'all. Please support. Show some love. If I helped you, reciprocate. Compensation. Exchange very important for existence.